It's not in the script. So what happens next is up to us. I want to try not following the script this time. Is that all right, Kafka? Who do you think will reach the end first? You, or me, or them? We will find the answers we desire, in the midst of battle. Don't push yourself too hard. It's no fun beating the game too fast. A battle is not a game. I know when to stop. You can't escape the past, and neither can I. What will they experience on the journey to the other side? It's an honor to fight to the sound of Miss Robin's voice. Don't be nervous. Just cooperate with me like you did before. One day, you will understand my perseverance. She always complains that I don't have any strategy when I play games. She says I just go, clink, 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 bang, bang, and it's over. But I can't learn that trick of hers called, uh, cheesing? <sighs> Am I just too stupid? She willingly approaches me, and when I try to approach her, I get the feeling that the distance between us is getting bigger and bigger. Kafka told me, when making friends with someone, keep the right distance in order to maintain a long-lasting relationship. But I don't think she actually believes this. He seeks an ending through death, while I seek an opportunity for life. Though we walk on opposite paths, we will reach the same destination. And he... will not become Destiny's slave. I can see... She once walked in the rain, once burned in battle, and once held the cold ashes in her hands, in a way completely different from mine. Even if life is short, memories can be eternal. As long as Black Swan still remembers me, the mark I leave on this world will not disappear. <laughs> Learning about everything he experienced is like reading a brilliant novel. You know that the people are made up, but you still can't help but feel joy and sadness for them. Maybe by the end we'll have long lost track of who the author, the reader, and the characters are. Her gorgeous attire, her exquisite voice, her gentle demeanor. They all cause many people to underestimate her. But compared to her glittering appearance, her bravery and purity leave an even deeper impression. Jade stone can be pawned off, but not everything can be used in an exchange. Outside of life itself, there are more valuable things that I don't want to give up. Hi. We meet again. What I mean is, it's nice to see you. Just call me Firefly, as always. Where do you want to go today? <laughs> Let's go together. The good times always pass so quickly. See you next time. I'm sorry. I didn't intend to hide this. I have to fulfill Sam's mission according to the script. That aside... There are my personal motives. 
I wish to get to know this world as Firefly. Sam, Iron Cavalry of the Firmament Frontline. Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mecha. To others, it's a weapon for opposing the swarm. But really, it's just me. I know Sam is the cradle of my vitality and the meaning of my existence. But I hope... It isn't all of me. Elio can see his own future. And I can also see mine. He says there is only one kind of destiny. But before I reach mine, I want to know what else I can do. <laughs> this is my right. Fireflies are such magical creatures, aren't they? They may throw themselves at a flame or suddenly grow old. But every night before that, they will shine brighter than the stars. Wild grass, berries, butterflies, a cool breeze. When I want fresh air, I like to go out where the plants grow wild and touch the life-filled world with my own hands. I don't have the ability to dream. And I need much less sleep than normal people. Every night, I go up to the roof to gaze at the sea of stars and watch the lights turn on and go out and boats go in and out of the harbor until the sun rises. Fireflies and butterflies often fly to me, but spiders and cockroaches come too. That's why I prefer cold places. But when the temperature drops, eh, I also don't want to move. What a dilemma. From the day I set foot on the battlefield, I knew that my blazing wings would eventually be extinguished. All I can hope is, before I return to the Earth, I'll be able to see the brightest light in the sky. When the Silver Sting Swarm lands on a planet, it looks like glittering snow has fallen. After every battle, I look back and see the ice-cold remains of the cavalry in the swirl of silver fragments. A life as frail as a cicada's wings can still burn brightly. The final stop is close. Maybe I can finally have my own dreams. One step at a time, and your dreams will come true. Right? <laughs>